Hello, my name is Karen Maroli. I'm the Director of Music Ministries at Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Welcome to Music Monday. One of the unexpected gifts uh, or uh, silver linings of the pandemic is that many of us have been, through technology, allowed uh, to engage with folks all over the country in ways that we normally would not unless we stepped on a plane. Uh, and the reason that we are doing this now is because we have been forced into it and taken advantage of the technology that allows us to make these connections over very large distances. So I have done a lot of uh, Zoom meetings mostly with uh, community choirs, church choirs, college choirs, uh, and most of it has been centered around a piece that I wrote and was recently published called Undivided. And the piece is about the fact that it almost is feels sort of countercultural uh, right now to make the choice to be kind to others. Um, and that we can choose to treat people with respect, treat people with dignity, um, speak to people with respect, even if we feels like we're coming from different places, we are all more alike than we are different. Um, and I don't think it requires being a person of faith necessarily to come to that conclusion and to exercise this idea of being kind uh, to others and uh, showing love to others. Um, but if we are people of faith, I believe there is a special requirement that we do this. This is how we show forth the light of Christ or the light of God in the world by being kind to everyone and choosing to act that way, hopefully in more situations than not, uh, rather than tearing someone else down. And uh, in that spirit, uh, I would like to sing a, we, would, we will sing it together, a spiritual that you all probably know. And according to some historians uh, who looked at uh, the history of people experiencing slavery in America, one possible interpretation of this is that slaves were singing it because they saw a huge divide between what they saw um, as the love of God and the Christianity about which they were learning and what they saw coming from their slave owners um, who professed Christianity. And they wanted to be true followers in their heart. It's, Lord, I want to be a Christian. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart. In my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. In my heart, in my heart, Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. So this week, as we go forth, think about those times when you wish you maybe had been um, a little bit more of a Christian in your heart when reacting to someone. And uh, as our pastor uh, so wisely said today, ask for forgiveness uh, about that. And as you also go forward, endeavor to try to show the light of Christ. We're all imperfect, um, but to take a moment 
with that person that may think differently from you, look differently from you, um, or be different from you in any other way, and choose to greet them with kindness and respect as we endeavor to all be Christians in our heart. Have a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time.